1,001 bottles of baby oil. <laughs> what sane person does that? Girl, this whole Diddy situation is a gift that keeps giving because Jaguar Wright is back, and this time she is piping hot tea about Diddy that we have never heard before. She just confirmed that the baby oils that were found in Diddy's homes were used in the freak-offs. Jaguar Wright then dropped the truth bomb that Meek Mill and Rick Ross not only participated in the freak-offs, but Diddy had them oiled up as they were his toys, which he used to fulfill his sexual desires. I swear, Jaguar has had her foot on Diddy's neck for a very long time. Time, and it doesn't look like she is letting go anytime soon because days after the feds announced that a thousand bottles of baby oil were found in Diddy's home, Jaguar Wright exposed Meek Mill and Rick Ross for getting oiled up by Diddy as he used them to fulfill his sexual fantasies. So Jaguar Wright alongside 50 Cent and Wendy Williams was one of the few people in Hollywood who knew that the Diddy we saw on TV was not the same person when the camera stopped rolling and over the years she has called him out for being DL, hosting adult parties, grooming young men in Hollywood, then promising them a career. Now, a lot of people never believed Jaguar Wright as she was labeled a clout chaser for all the allegations she made against Diddy. I'm not gonna blame the fans for calling her a clout chaser because the thought of one man committing that number of crimes and walking free all these. But then Cassie's lawsuit happened and not only did her lawsuit expose Diddy as being DL, but it exposed him for his freak off parties, his love for putting his hands on women and how he knew people who could make anyone who crossed him disappear. Cassie's lawsuit made a lot of people go back to Jaguar Wright and in exposing Diddy's freak off Joshua. According to Cassie's lawsuit, Diddy forced her to hire male escorts, made her sleep with the male escorts while he watched and recorded, and if he did like the escorts, he would join them. Now the freak offs had some unnamed celebrities in attendance. To give you an insight into how insane this whole freak off party was, former band member of Dainty Queen Dawn, Richard also filed a lawsuit against Diddy. And this is what was said about Diddy's freak offs. The official documents read, freak offs occurred regularly sometimes lasted multiple days, and often involved multiple commercial sex workers. During freak-offs, Combs distributed a variety of controlled substances to victims, in part to keep the victims obedient and compliant. Sometimes unbeknownst to the victims, Combs kept videos he filmed of victims engaging in sex acts with commercial sex workers. After freak-offs, Combs and the victims typically received IV fluids to recover from the physical exertion and drug use. So a few days ago, Diddy was arrested at a New York hotel after a federal grand jury indicted him on charges of racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud or coercion, and transportation to engage in prostitution. While announcing his arrest, U.S. Attorney Damian Williams revealed that when Diddy's home was raided, the Homeland Security a few months ago, apart from the electronics that contained the footage of his freak-off videos, a thousand bottles of baby oil were found in his home and three weapons with defaced serial numbers were found. After his arrest, the judge ordered Diddy to be thrown in jail pending the trial and his lawyers Diddy applied for bail, posting a $50 million bond offering his passport, his mother's passport, and his children's passports, including the babies to prove he would appear in court. But the judge had no intention of letting Diddy walk away as his bail application was denied twice as the judge claims not only was Diddy at flight risk, but he could also threaten and harm witnesses and that could disrupt the case. The judge's position was valid because a few days after Dawn Richard filed her lawsuit against Diddy, Diddy allegedly called Kalena Harper, a witness in Dawn Richard's case, 58 times over four days, threatening her there was going to be consequences if she spoke to the press on anything she knew on Dawn Richard's time under Diddy's label. Days after news broke that a thousand bottles of baby oil were found in Diddy's home, Jaguar Wright sat for another interview where she spilled some never been known tea about people who attended Diddy's freak off parties. Now, unlike the previous interviews where she went an explosive, Jaguar spilled the tea in a more relaxed manner because there's still an active investigation on Diddy's freak off parties. Yeah, it I just want to know were there women in the tub of baby oil or was that all for meat milk? Oh. I mean, a thousand and one bottles of baby oil, that might be enough to cover TD cakes. I know it's definitely enough to submerse Khaled up to his chest. Now you put him and Rose in there, you might need to go hit another truck. 
that Meek Mill was one of Diddy's boy toys didn't really come as a shock because a lot of people have given Meek and Diddy's relationship a side eye. And there are also rumors going around that Diddy asked Jay-Z for a favor to help him get Meek Mill out of jail. Then there's this video of Diddy calling Meek Mill daddy, telling him he loves him. Meek Mill was looking very distressed in the pool. King son. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. While Meek may not really come as a shock to everyone, Rick Ross being one of Diddy's boy toys is surprising. Jaguar isn't the only one accusing Rick Ross of being Diddy's boy toy. As Rick Ross's baby mama, Tia Kemp also claims the feds has Rick Ross on tapes at one of Diddy's parties. Well, according to inside sources, Diddy has been messing with Rick Ross for a very long time as Ross allegedly groomed Meek Mill after signing him to his label and passed him to Diddy as Diddy was the money bag behind Maybach Music Group. Jaguar Wright exposing Rick Ross and Meek Mill for being Diddy's boy toy had fans talking, and they left comments saying, Meek will never beat the allegations, ever. Rick Ross sure had a lot to say when Drake was getting dragged for certain unfounded allegations, but now that his Diddy Meister is locked up, he's awfully quiet. I know this shit is wild, but I've seen multiple sources confirm this is actually both of them. It shouldn't be that surprising seeing as Diddy has a history of being reckless when drunk, and the fact that Meek is as dumb as a bag of rocks. So, do you think Rick Ross and Meek Mill really attend a Diddy party? Or do you think there's more to this story than what is being reported? Let me know what you think in the comments, then check out this next video.